Hey family, how you doing today? Um, wanted to drop in and share a couple things um, we kind of talked about yesterday. Uh, there are a few things that um, we're going to be putting together at Lighthouse Church, um, one of which, uh, the most important thing at this moment, is going to be a disaster preparedness plan. Now, living in Florida, um, we are a we are accustomed to hurricanes and things like that and being prepared. Now, with what we are seeing on, on a global scale, okay, what we're seeing as far as the global scale connecting to what the Word of God is saying, okay, and how we are, where we are in the book of Revelation, we understand that these things are about to take place very soon. Now, with that being said, please hear my heart. This is not a doomsday thing, go crazy, blah, blah, blah. We are talking about being prepared. If we need these things, wonderful. If we don't, wonderful. But what we want to do is make sure that we're prepared. So one of the things that we have discussed is the possibility of an EMP, an electromagnetic pulse burst weapon being let off over the United States or parts of the United States, which would cripple those areas. Anything electronic or electric would cease to work. Okay. So you're pretty much in an instant are shot back to the days before electricity. Now, if you aren't prepared for that, you're going to be in trouble, right? So what we want to do is we want to think about if that would happen, because it is a possibility. What would I be able to do for my home? Okay. How, how would I be able to take care of my home? So there's a couple of things that I wrote down that I want to share with you, okay? Number one, the church, the, 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 our house, this area is a safe harbor, okay? We talked yesterday about asking each family to bring in a case of water. Um, we're going to go over, we're going to start redoing um, that one room to get the food put out. Um, we actually had some folks come in today that picked up some food. Um, but this is going to be a safe harbor, all right? So... If you are able to get about some way, okay, and you can make it here, we'll have items here. We also want to get the garden started outside the church as well, okay? Uh, number two, your homes would, if something happens and we can't get around, your homes are going to become the new Lighthouse Church, okay? You're going to worship every day or however it is that the Lord leads you. If we can get together, we will. It'll kind of be like the first century. Okay. Um, but in saying that, I need you to get to know your neighbors, start introducing yourself to them. Pastor Craig said this at uh, coffee today. What, and it's, it's such a get to know your neighbors because in Miss Darlene said this very same thing. When tragedy strikes Pensacola, like a hurricane or something, what happens? Communities band together. Okay. So if something does come, we know that we have a community around us, but we need to make sure that we're introducing ourselves to them. And it's not a, I'm going to bang you over the head. Look, I am your next door neighbor. Here's a tree. Let's cut that thing down. When God turns this, the, the topic spiritual, then you let Holy Spirit ro roll with it. Okay. So with that being said, if you go back to what you're going to need, all right, think about things that you may need in that kind of a situation where there's no power, no lights, no ability to get around, no running water, nothing, okay? You're going to need things like matches and water. And, and I mean, all of you wonderful thinkers out there can come up with a huge list. Uh, last thing I want to tell you is if any of this happens, we need to make sure that I just, I personally just want you to be safe. I don't know if we'll be able to communicate if that's even a thing. Um, I don't know what's going to happen, but I just want you to be safe, okay? And even making this video, guys, is really, really weird for me, all right? Because I, the Lord laid this on my heart like days ago, and the more I'm thinking about making it, I'm like, you're that kook that's on the video that says, you guys need to prepare because you're going to lose everything. Whatever the case, it's, that's how this feels, but at the same time, Revelation 12 has been fulfilled. We have a war in Israel. I mean, the, the Revelation 12 sign has shown everything is just coming along exactly the way the Lord said that it would. And the time seemed, it, 
the time is now. The time is now. So what we're going to do going forward, this is just a few introductory things. The men, uh, myself and the men, we're going to kind of get together, uh, get some thoughts together, being the spiritual leaders of the home. That's what I mean. I don't mean like, you know, okay, spiritual leaders of the home. We want to make sure that we have a plan together, okay, but that making sure that we all have a good plan individually. So start talking as a family amongst yourself. You may already be doing that. And if you are, mwah, wonderful. Um, but start talking about a fa- as a family, have these kind of conversations, okay? But until then, we're just going to keep being faithful. We're just going to keep being faithful. We're just going to keep doing. And when the moment is right, God will move. Let me pray. Bless. Father, I thank you for my family. I thank you for their heart to chase after you. Father, I am so blessed, so blessed to be a part of their lives. I'm asking you to protect each and every one. And Father, as we walk this road, we wait for your hand to move. We will remain faithful. In Jesus' name we pray. And all of God's children said, Amen. Love you guys.